In this video, let's take a look at the checkbox component from Material UI. Checkboxes allow the user to select one or more options from a set. They can also be used to turn an option on or off. Let's understand the component and its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI checkbox.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the box component and use it instead of the div tag. Now, for a single checkbox, we need to import two components form control label and checkbox. Now, let's add the JSX. For our example, let's create a checkbox for the user to accept the terms and conditions. So within the box component, add another box as we will be looking at more than one example. Within the component, invoke the form control label component. On this component, we specify the label prop and set it equal to the string I accept terms and conditions. Next, we specify the control prop, which is equal to our checkbox component. Let us now include this component in app component. And head to the browser. You can see the checkbox component being displayed. You can check and uncheck the box. Let's go back to VS Code and track this checked status in a state variable. At the top, import use state from React. Within the component, create a state variable. Let's call it accept terms and conditions. The setter function is set accept TNC and the initial value is false. Now on the checkbox, we add the checked prop and assign the state variable to it. So checked is equal to accept TNC. Next we handle the change event. So on change, and this is going to be equal to a function called handle change. Let's define the handler. Const handle change. This is going to be equal to an arrow function receives event of type react.change event of type HTML input element. And within the function body, we call set accept TNC passing in event dot target dot check. Let's also log the state variable to the console. If we now head back to the browser, you can see by default, accept TNC is false. Check and it is now true. So true for checked and false for unchecked. Our checkbox is working as expected. Now it's also possible to use icons as a checkbox. Let me show you an example. At the top, I'm going to import two bookmark related icons. So bookmark border icon and bookmark icon. Now in the JSX, we can specify a checkbox using just icons without any label. So box component, checkbox component, we can add icon is equal to bookmark border icon and a second prop checked icon is equal to bookmark icon. Let's also reuse the same state variable to track the checked state. So checked is equal to accept TNC and on change is equal to handle change. Take a look at the browser. 
and we have the empty bookmark icon. Select it and we have bookmarked. Pretty nice if you ask me. For our last example, let's learn how to work with a checkbox group. For this example, let's create a group of three checkboxes where the user can select their skill. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be the options. Now to use a checkbox group, we need three more components. At the top, import, form control, form label, and form group from material UI. Now in the JSX, add a new box. Within the box, add the form control component. Within the form control, we add a label to the group using the form label component. Let's call this skills. Below the form label, we add the form group component. Within the form group, we add three form control label components where the control is checkbox. I'm going to copy the form control label from above and make the necessary changes. First, we change the label to HTML and then on the checkbox, we add a new value prop and set it to HTML. The checked and on change, I will leave empty for now. Similarly, the second component label is going to be CSS. Value is equal to CSS. Checked and on change empty. JavaScript value is equal to JavaScript. Checked and on change empty. We now have our checkbox group. The last part is to track the selected checkboxes. Now, if you refer to the documentation, you're going to see the selected state maintained using an object. However, in a real world app, the checkboxes might be dynamic. So let me show you how to maintain the state using an array. Begin by creating a new state variable. Let's call this skills, set skills, and the initial value is an empty array, but the type is an array of string values. On the checkbox, for the checked state, we see if the corresponding value is present in the array. For HTML, checked is equal to skills.include the string HTML. Similarly, for CSS and JavaScript. For the onChange event, let's assign a new handler called handleSkillChange and define it. Const handleSkillChange is equal to an arrow function receives the same event as before. So let me copy paste that. And within the function body, all we have to do is toggle the value in the array. If the value is present, remove it. If not, add it in. So first grab hold of the index. So skills.index of event.target.value. Now, if it is not present, so if index is equal to minus one, we're going to call set skills, spreading the existing skills and adding the checked skill. However, if it already exists in the array, we call set skills, passing in skills.filter, we remove the skill and we return only those skills which are not equal to the current unchecked skill. Finally, let's log skills to the console. If you now take a look at the browser, you can see we have the checkbox group with the skills label. You can check and uncheck the corresponding values 
and they're logged in the console. Our checkbox group is working as expected. All right, let's now take a look at a few props that we have seen before. The first one is on the form group component. The prop is row, which aligns the checkboxes in a row. Next, on the accept terms and conditions checkbox, we can specify size is equal to small, color is equal to secondary, and we see the same reflecting in the browser. Size can be small or medium, and color is from the predefined palette. Finally, if you want to show an error state, you can add the error prop on the form control component. This will change the label color to red. Skills is in red, as you can see. If you want to add an error message, you can add the form helper text component. Import it at the top, and then below the form group, form helper text, invalid selection. Head to the browser, and you can see the error message. This is pretty much the usage of the checkbox component from Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at the switch component.